This is the chapter number 12 of the Theory of the Transcendent Reality TTR, regarding the Physic of the Existence, written by Mauro Bernardini. In this chapter we will try to find the final solutions, which, as mentioned in the previous chapter, let you know the temporal moment when a EPI section soul, for example a quark a particle soul of a living being, die, or more correctly, ceases to move in our world. First we replace the masses with their relativistic equation, then we express their speed, as a function of time t. And finally, we calculate the value of the two derivatives of the final equation, the first derivative and the second derivative. Now we replace the derivatives in final equation. After this we define the temporary variables a, b, c, d, with the following values. Thus obtaining the first final simplified form of the equation. Final form that we can also write as follows. Now, according to the postulates of TTR theory, we know that at time t, corresponding to the final solution of the equation, the EPI section soul will exit from our space and starts to move in the 11d space at the speed of its own point conveyor. Therefore the following radical may be enhanced and placed equal to f. Now we use the simplified equation with the new variable, f that we can rewrite as follows. And by placing the following values for a, b, c and d, we get the following final equation of the fourth degree, whose four solutions are the following ones. Now, as an example, we evaluate two of these solutions, and precisely, the T1 and the T3, in the case of an EPI section soul, corresponding with the elementary particle of matter quark 1, which, for simplicity, we assume having a consciousness radius containing only one other particle of matter, namely the quark 2. Despite having significantly simplified all numerical values at stake and due to the limitation of computational tools available, we get into the complex plan the positive solution T3, whose imaginary part tends to zero when the particles present in the consciousness of the quark 1 are all considered. By inserting into the formula a larger number of episection souls mj, of type slave, then the imaginary part of T3 solution tends to zero, by becoming real. This complex solution expresses the time, in seconds, in which the existence of the quark 1 particle will exit from our 3D space. The real part of the T3 solution corresponds to approximately 1.17 for 10 to 10 years, i.e., about 11.7 billion years. This value could represent the time to decay, or death, of the quark 1. Instead of having the time T unknown, as we had in the previous example to find the lifetime of a episection soul, such as a quark, now we have M as unknown. In this way we can find the value of the mass m of a episection soul corresponding to the soul of a living being, as a result we will know how much is the weight of the soul. To know the mass m of the soul of a living being we utilize the following values in the final equation, t equals 80, corresponding to the average lifetime of 80 years, xij equals 1. For the distance between the souls of the two particles mi and mj, c equals 300,000, for the speed of light in 3D space, by equals the speed of light in the 11D space as postulated by TTR theory, vj equals 250,000. As a value less than c, mi equals mj equals m, as the mass of the master and slave souls of this example. Therefore, less than an infinitesimal part of imaginary type, the real component of the complex result is approximately equal to that corresponding to the mass of a proton. Indeed, if in the equation we increase the number of episection souls mj of slave type, then the imaginary part of this result tends to zero and the weight of the soul becomes just equal to a real elementary particle of matter, that is, the proton. 